Welcome everyone to the Incredicast Season Zero finale. finale. So in this podcast, we're just going to recap the NASCAR season and also our season as a whole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, survived, man. Yeah, we survived. We survived. <laughs> we made it our Season Zero. We did half a season. Yeah. Um, yeah, we call it Season Zero because we, we did two. not... Yeah, we did not start at the Daytona 500, so it could not we be a, an official season. Poor, early <laughs> on to begin, but I yeah. didn't have a computer then. It's okay. It's yeah, okay. you contacted me um, in late June, I believe, and you talked about starting up a podcast, and we were like, yeah, yeah. I actually uh, started a podcast with uh, XX Funtime Lord, XX. I hate that name, no, no, no. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, that Long podcast that doesn't make sense. That podcast did not work out, and uh, decided to make a NASCAR podcast with this man right here, Mister David. <laughs> so thank you, appreciate it. When I heard about the idea, I was like, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. So you know, yeah, we should do it because there's not anyone else who does these <laughs> types of <laughs> but, but yeah but yeah so this is season zero completed season zero um we started we started at the coke zero you know um that race yeah coke zero 400 at daytona and a horrible podcast we had the oh first yeah time. please do not watch that please um ew oh you're God. chevy okay. <laughs> we will yeah. send you a free t-shirt if you do not watch it so, but yeah, yeah, we started um, on Discord actually for that first one, so the quality was really, yeah. really not too great. Yeah, and um, the second one, however, Kentucky, like we had an amazing podcast. Oh yeah, it was live too. Like we did it together in person. It was live. Yeah, it was streamed. It was really good. And then we found out that we didn't hit stream so yeah it's a sad day <laughs> so yeah but but the races have been uh, yeah over over time our podcast they improved you know you look at the brickyard yeah we look at pocono or, or um the playoffs really was like our time to shine as i got near the end of the playoffs such as talladega you know yeah, yeah, the beginning of the playoffs for our podcast, that was actually the first time Kyle Petty noticed our, yeah. our podcast and our thumbnails and that we're hiding his face somewhere in all, <laughs> all of our videos. But Yeah, and we had class that time, too. So yeah. if you go back through that, you can you can see that, that we just didn't have a lot of energy. We were really into it, you know. Um, yeah. We didn't have the time to prepare as we really... Should have, but you yeah, know. the first five or six episodes we did those in in person because we w we didn't have school then, but then school came around, we had to use Discord, and it, the quality kind of dropped, I would say, and then yeah, we switched to Skype and got got better. Yeah, I would say, but yeah, did. so. What do you think your favorite podcast was? Um. My favorite podcast would probably be The Brickyard, just because uh, um, Crazy Race with a crazy finale, and we really, we acted, like, very well in that po podcast. You know, we weren't biased, we weren't, you know, weren't pulling for certain thing, certain, you know, certain team, certain car. We just talked about the race. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think mine would probably be um, either Talladega or Texas. Yeah. Because, like, that was when one of our favorite drivers won. <laughs> so, like, we put a lot more effort. Speaking of being biased. <laughs> well, not to be biased, but we was all also, like, excited to yeah. talk about it. Yeah. We wasn't really biased towards that driver, but we was... <laughs> You know, we was excited. It wasn't like yeah. the same driver winning over and over that was happening the few races before. True, uh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calling you guys out. <laughs> uh, but no, it's, it was a great season, I would say, for... Yeah, for us. Uh, both, to start. Both to NASCAR start and Incredicast. Yeah. For NASCAR, the season really had some great racing. Um, I know everyone talks about Truex 
Tom and Eggs season winning the championship like he should have. But but there was some some great racing like we saw at Dover early on in the year with Jimmy Johnson. Um, the dates on a five hundred. I be, I believed you know um we've seen some great fuel mileage races in the in the past at super speedways but this one this year was really good with yeah that kurt, one kurt bush yeah. and blaney at the end you know and chase elliott ran out of gas we thought he was gonna win you know yeah i wish we was recording our podcast at that time but yeah no uh hopefully the 2018 daytona 500 will give us an even as, better one as crazy <laughs> but, but yeah we, we've also had some great times uh while we wasn't recording uh, in credit cast like we went to the hall of fame yeah we actually got to see um our mascot over there kyle petty kyle petty the man himself <laughs> was over there um we got to see um burton was over there yeah ryan blaney bubba blaney, wallace bubba wallace <laughs> we actually got to be on tv for like five seconds yeah if if someone please can someone find it it's the nascar um america um episode that they aired Two or three hours, um, um, pre before the Watkins Glen race this year, and and it shows Ryan Blaney at the Hall of Fame and Adam's sister here, M World, she's on it. Like as soon as the TV pants to Ryan Blaney, it's Hall of Fame. Um, us two are in the background, and Adam's sister, M World, is is getting um her hero card signed by Ryan Blaney, and yeah. we've looked for it, we've searched far and wide. <laughs> But we could not. Sadly, yeah. we could not find it. So, <laughs> but, but it was pretty awesome to ride the, the, the simulators in there, and also the uh, the pit crew challenge. Yeah, the pit crew was, um, challenge was really fun. With yeah, the, with the um, with the nut gun for the tires, take off the tires, you know, five off, five on, and then the gas and the jack it was really fun to do. <laughs> Maybe we can go again. I still the next year. have the scar on my knee from sliding, so. <laughs> So yeah, but um, the Charlotte was really cool going to the Hall Hall, Hall of Fame and the iRacing racing simulator to those <laughs> yeah. kids. Let's just say, because yeah, there was like a guy that like got so mad at me because I accidentally bumped him in the start and he wrecked, <laughs> and like that entire race. He was so mad, <laughs> like, like he actually lost race points or something. I because... kept seeing a car going into the wall, and I didn't know who it was. And then when you told me afterwards about that, I was like, "Oh yeah, that was definitely him." <laughs> I saw that, but but yeah, as a as a NASCAR podcast, as a NASCAR season, you know, two areas for us, both of both of those, you know, this this first or season zero, I should I should say, you know, we really had a good year. Yeah, and next year we're going to come back even stronger. Even stronger. And I hope to actually get a community on here, you know, to talk during the race. Yeah. And, and like, they can even give us some inside news in case it's, like, some certain people, you know. It, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to next season. Uh, but Yeah, same. But every year at the end, we're going to do something like this. Go out and go get some breakfast in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and just and just really you know just um hang out together and we just it's in it's incredible uh to whoa. look back over <laughs> well um over just the season that we've had and the and the year that we you know that we started off the year and we began this podcast you know if season one is incredible if season two three four five um if we get hundreds of thousands of subscribers you know um, it won't be the same as this season because we started this season. You know, this was where where yeah. our ball began to roll. So this is where everything began, and I guess you could look at it as in chapters because like this would be like yeah. the, the prologue or whatever. Yeah, prologue. <laughs> we we haven't even started yet, and we've had a pretty good time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So. So yeah, um, we agreed to do this one raw, which we yeah. didn't, we didn't. Um, which I think was pretty successful. Yeah. So far. But, I mean. It is our first celebration. The <laughs> celebration one. Yeah. But yeah, in our in our first um, season doing this, um, season zero, we got to wish off um, two great NASCAR 
drivers who have been who've been in the sport forever. Um, they would truly be missed on the track. Um, I hope they come to the track and they get to show their face a lot. I know Dale Jr. He will, um, because you know he'll be in the booth. But Matt Kenseth and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Um, want to just thank you again for your for your lives that you have you know gave to us to spend in this sport. You know you guys are incredible. You know. Dale Jr. and both Matt Kenseth, two-time Daytona 500, oh, you know, champions. Matt Kenseth, the 2003 champion. Just incredible drivers, you know. Yeah, I wish Dale was another person we met in person through yeah. our our year. We met him at a shop while he was doing his podcast. <laughs> yeah, so. We're hoping to give him a gift Yeah. sometime soon. Cool guy, really is. Yeah. <laughs> Humble man, you know. When you have everything like that, you wouldn't you would not expect someone to be as as humble and and as fan orientated. You know, there's there's certainly some other drivers that are not as fan orientated and do not care about them. Here's a hint: we have made a few thumbnails about him. Uh, let me count them real quick. Let's one, say one, two, uh, two, three, four, four five, five yep. times. He's here. Yeah, and his last name. <laughs> no, it's okay. But yeah, you know, Joe <laughs> Junior. He really is just, just such. He's so pro fan, just pro you, really. You know, I know NASCAR um, has their propaganda about you know the Dale Junior farewell tour. Totally everyone, everyone, everyone. But, but it really, you know, to a certain extent, um, it really is true. The fans love Dale Junior. Junior Nation needs to replace either Canada or that or that crusty little place to the south because it's more it's more powerful and, and alive than either of those two places you know so. yeah just move all of junior nation to canada <laughs> yeah but, <laughs> but um yeah so <laughs> man what a great season this has been yeah really and we get to we get to close it out on a good note yeah come back next year even strong I would also like to thank all of you that has been there for our very first season and you know the support that we've seen mm. from YouTube and Twitter yeah for sure oh man especially with like the thumbnails I got yeah. some great feedback from those oh yeah which I mean congratulations to you Adam I mean Adam here he designs these thumbnails all by himself you know he doesn't get any inspiration from from anyone else who's designing you know, for me, even I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a clue where to start. So you know, these are all you, man. Like my goodness. Which is a thing I almost these are crazy forgot. to design. Uh, the winning thumbnail for everyone's favorite thumbnail of the year that you guys voted on on Twitter was the Texas race. So Kevin Harvick will officially be our driver of 2017 for Incredicast. Mm. Oh wow. And so we're going to get, like, a little table or something where we'll put, like, the winning die cast of yeah. each year. So the first one will be the Mobile One 4 car. That's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And to um, Martin Truex Jr. in Furniture Row, you know, congratulations on a, on a very, very much so deserving championship win. You know, oh, yeah. we talked about it a lot earlier. If they didn't win this year, it was going to be, you know, a pure shame. But, but yeah, to the 78 team, Martin Tricks Jr., everyone who's allied with the Furniture Row Racing and just that, that team, um, you guys had a great year, a dominant year. You know, congratulations to you guys. You, you know, you tore it up this year. You really did, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Over everyone. Over, that's the thing that... That I still don't understand that everyone talks about. A Gibbs satellite team with Gibbs equipment and TRD engines slaughtered Joe Gibbs Racing. Yeah. That is just incredible. Okay, let's let's count the thumbnails again of Joe Gibbs Racing versus True Rex. Yeah, Joe Gibbs Racing, <laughs> a four car team versus one man. Let's see. Joe Gibbs has one uh, has Hamlin. Hamlin has Kyle Bush. That's, it's two Hamlin, five Kyle Busch. All right, so you know that's seven. Seven, Truex. Oh no, but 
Well, also Mackenzie. Actually, eight, yeah. Eight. Eight for Joe Gibbs. Racing. And Truex alone. Alone has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. So he almost. He almost eclipsed a powerhouse team. <laughs> So Martin Truex is the MVP <laughs> by far. And again, just during our podcast time, I'm sure if you go back, you know, through the all the races during the year, you know, I know for a fact he won more of that in Joe Gibbs Racing. Yeah, he actually won one more uh, in the Fox part of the season. Yeah, that was Las Vegas. As soon as NBC came along, he, <laughs> he just tore it up. He, my goodness. In the playoffs, in the regular season. I think he won like 20 stages. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So. But yeah. So if you have to ask anyone at the banquet who, you know, um, to keep this new format or not, I think Truex would say yes. Because he. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's keep it, it guys. <laughs> it sure helped him get the homestead. <laughs> and he won the dang thing there, but. But yeah, I think that wraps up our but yeah, season. Um. Yeah, this is season zero. Season zero, our and first ever again season on here. Um, signing off. However, we still have to let you know about the preseason that's coming up for season one. So, um, our first official season, uh, we'll have a preseason podcast, um, which that podcast will be between January 28th and February 3rd. We can't officially make a day because college and all that. I wish wish we could, but we have no idea when. Uh, But for that podcast, it's going to be sort of like this one. We're just going to basically be talking. However, we're just going to talk about our picks for the Clash and also we're going to announce either the new formats of NASCAR or whatever (laughs) the heck. Happens over if the Brian offseason. France is in charge, you n- have no clue what's going to change. <laughs> then on that podcast, we will give you the rest of the schedule after that. But then again, thank you guys for all watching our podcast throughout the season. Season zero, <laughs> we went through 20 full race episodes. And then one actual um, halftime show. Halftime show. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, thanks to the fans. Thanks to David for recording with me. <laughs> Also, uh, thank you to God for allowing us to do this day by day. Yeah, really. (laughs) Without him, we wouldn't be doing this. But we are signing out for the final time of the Season Zero season. In 2017. Hope you all have a great and Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And can't wait to see you for some new racing in 2018.